Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. And in today's episode, I'm gonna review a bunch of fractal jigsaw puzzles. Fractal jigsaw puzzles you might think you already heard about. Yes, I reviewed also, also some of them in the past. Now we got a new batch here created by Martin Rainsford from Great Britain. He also created a Kickstarter pen campaign for these. And you can just check out the link up here or follow the link in the video description to check this campaign out and maybe get one yourself. Okay, overall we're talking about four puzzles. And don't be confused, by the way, I put a little mark down here which says Dauerwerbesendung. What is this? Well, in Germany we need to mark any kind of um, commercial, even in YouTube videos. And um, this mark here, I'm. this is actually not a paid promotion, but I just want to avoid any kind of confusion or of claims, therefore I put it down here, even if it's not really a paid promotion. So, just for you to not be confused. It comes with this folie on the top, or it's more like a, like a tape, and if you peel them off, take care not to peel them off here like 90 degrees, because otherwise the pieces can jump out, maybe even broken if you do it too fast. Just fold around 800, uh, 180 degrees and peel it off. This will make it much easier for you. And this is what a fractal jigsaw puzzles look like. And the interesting thing is that this complete pattern here is created by a single space filling line, which is running around this two-dimensional space to completely fill it. And it's running or moving in a non-repetitive way. Means um, that, I will just take a piece out here, and um, that these single pieces of this puzzle look very much the same and can also be placed in very many or in many many different places but you can only fill this complete pattern in the end by using or by arranging the parts in the right way okay i will show you this more in detail and uh, later and what's very interesting also here for this one is you having this very very nice effect of hiding parts in plain sight so you cannot really identify the single pieces anymore as soon as you put them in, they will hide here in plain sight. More about this also in the... Where's my last piece? Oh. <laughs> uh, more about this later in the after the spoiler break. And of course, we're gonna also check out the other puzzles and curves that come with this incredible nice set of puzzles. Okay, now let's have a look at each puzzle individually. Um, I just want to mention that I will not disassemble and reassemble this puzzle completely because I know already that these puzzles are very, very difficult to bring back or it can be very difficult. Um, and therefore, I will just show you how the single pieces look like and how they are reassemble and disassemble. But I will not show you, let's say, a complete disassemble and reassemble, okay? So this is basically how these um, piano curve parts look like, yeah? They are cut with a laser cutter and cutting a single line or a pattern out of, uh, with, uh, based on a single line, this is very much, um, I think, what a laser cutter is made for. So um, perfect manufacturing method in this case. It can be very difficult to get these back together because you just can mix positions and they also can um, can join each other as you can see and this can be very very confusing during the assembly and this effect here is just incredibly nice when these parts slide in each other and hide in plain sight i could do this all day long and gone so this is the piano curve and this one by the way is made from birch wood the names are coming from the person who created them. So um, this one here was created by the Italian mathematician Giuseppe Piano and um, the other three are created by Walter Wunderlich from Austria and also based on the piano curve. So let's have a look at the Wunderlich curve. Remove the foil again and this one comes in brown oak. Looks also pretty cool. Some kind of a dull, more dull like surface and oh these pieces are very small here. And I can imagine this makes it even more difficult because getting these small pieces in the right place, I mean, 
This can be really a challenge. Oh, and this pattern looks also pretty cool. You can see it here. And I will just get back these small pieces here because I'm afraid otherwise I will get lost. So I hope they are back in the right place. And let's just see. Yes. No, they are not back in the right place. Made already the first mistake, as you can see. Get out. And now get them back in place, hopefully. Yes, okay. So this is the Wunderlich curve number one. Okay, this one is coming in red mahogany color and wow, the pieces are pretty much interlocked, difficult to get out and <laughs> okay, um, this pattern here looks, I mean, what uh, what does this pattern remind you of? <laughs> looks a little bit like a swastika if you ask me. And let's just get out some of the pieces. Oh, the comments probably, oh, there will be a lot of comments of the shape of this puzzle, I think. I'm pretty much sure. And let's get one of the pieces, some of the pieces out. And I, I really like this one because it's um, covering nearly the complete space and also this pattern is really really difficult i think to predict where the parts need to be put and now i'm oh i thought i forgot where to put the pieces no i did not but these pieces here are very very as i said hard to predict where to put them and it's, it's kind of different as the previous one. This is my, it seems at least, this pattern here is more easy to understand, more easy to see where to put it. But this one here is, I can imagine, it's really, really difficult to do. And again, same as before, last piece in. If you make it until this point, you can be very proud of you. And the last one is the Wunderlich Curve number three. This one comes in rosewood, also another pattern based on the piano curve, but this one is kind of a dairy weight created by also Walter Wunderlich. And let's see, oh yeah, the pieces look incredibly nice. And they are very, very well cut by the way, so no issue with really getting stuck if you take them out. And I think he chose this time he chose quite a nice size, so they are the size is pretty much equal. Not all of the pieces, but most of them. And let's look at this one. This one is actually I think the one I prefer or I like the most. This looks pretty cool here. And oh, this is difficult. You can see that you can um, make a difference between the the pattern here of the wood so means um, you can clearly see a difference if the wood is oriented like this or like this the, the color gets a little bit brighter or different and you will immediately notice that the piece cannot be in like so yeah. okay which one to pick well I would per I personally would prefer actually this one and maybe this one the other two are also nice but these two are my personal favorites, but this is up to you. Check out the campaign if you like. Let me know and also let Martin know in the comments which puzzle you would prefer. I think that's very interesting for him. And also, of course, I'm interested to know what you think about this video, what you think about these puzzles. Is this something you would invest in or not? Let me know in the comments. And of course, also you can join me on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, keep on puzzling.